Suppose the setting glasses hut company has a profit function given by P of Q, where Q is the number of thousands of pairs of setting glasses sold and produced, and P of Q is a total profit in thousands of dollars from selling and producing Q pairs of sunglasses. We have three parts of this question. Part A, find the marginal profit function, which would be the first derivative of our profit function P of Q. B, how many pairs of sunglasses in thousands should be sold to maximize profits? And we're asked to round to three decimal places. And then finally C, what are the actual maximum profits in thousands that can be expected. So we'll first find the marginal profit function, which would be P prime of Q, which is equal to the derivative of negative 0.03 Q squared, so we'd multiply by two, so we'd have negative 0.06 times Q raised to the power of two minus one, which would be Q to the first, which is Q, plus the derivative of three Q, that'd be three, so plus three, minus the derivative of 36, which would be zero. So this is our marginal profit function, P prime of Q. And now for part B, we're asked how many pairs of sunglasses in thousands should be sold to maximize profits. So the first step is going to be to find their critical numbers, which is where the first derivative is equal to zero or undefined. So let's find our critical numbers on the next slide. Again, we already know that P prime of Q is equal to negative 0.06Q plus three. So to find the critical numbers, we'll set P prime of Q equal to zero and solve for Q. If P of Q does have a max or min value, it will occur at a critical number. Let's go ahead and add 0.06Q to both sides. That would give us 0.06Q equals three. And then we'll divide both sides by 0.06. Simplifying, we have Q equals three divided by 0 0.06 is 50. So notice how we only have one critical number, and it might be tempting to just assume that this is going to be where the profit is maximized, but we really should apply either the first or second derivative test to verify we have a max or min value at Q equals 50. So for this example, let's apply the second derivative test. So we'll test the concavity at Q equals 50 to see if the function is concave up or concave down. This will tell us whether we have a max or min value at Q equals 50. But in reality, notice how the profit function P of Q is a quadratic function with a negative leading coefficient. So we have a parabola that opens down. So we are going to have a maximum value at Q equals 50. But let's go ahead and apply the second root of test anyway. So P double prime of Q would be equal to the derivative of the first derivative so the derivative of negative 0.06Q with respect to Q would just be negative 0.06. The derivative of three is zero. So notice how here this tells us the second derivative is always negative. So our function is always concave down. Or if we want P double prime of 50 would still be equal to negative 0.06, which means our function is concave down at the critical number 50. So if the function is concave down, it would look something like this. And therefore, at this critical number, Q equals 50, we do have a high point or a maximum of function value, which means 50, not just 50, but 50,000 pairs of sunglasses should be sold to maximize profits. And now for part C, we're asked, what are the actual maximum profits that can be expected? So to find the actual maximum profits, we want to evaluate the profit function P of Q at Q equals 50. So P of 50 is going to be equal to negative 0.03 times 50 squared plus three times 50 minus 36. And now we'll go to the calculator, negative 0.03 times 50 squared plus three times 50 minus 36 is equal to 39. So P of 50 equals 39, but remember P of Q is in thousands of dollars. So the maximum profit is 
not thirty-nine dollars, but thirty-nine thousand dollars. Before we go, let's check our answers graphically by analyzing our profit function, P of Q. Notice how, as we mentioned before, we do have a quadratic function where the leading coefficient is negative, so the parabola opens down as we see here. Here's the high point on the graph. Notice how this occurs when Q is equal to fifty, verifying to maximize profit they want to sell fifty thousand pairs of sunglasses. And notice how when Q is fifty, P of Q, the total profit, is equal to thirty-nine thousand dollars. I hope you found this helpful.